The damaged upturned carriages from a roller coaster packed with families. Eyewitnesses said the tsunami ride derailed shortly after it set off before falling 30 feet onto a children's ride close by. On the 26th of June 2016, disaster struck at M&D's Scotland theme park when a ride known as the Tsunami Roller Coaster derailed 30 feet in the air and was sent plummeting to the ground. The incident sent shockwaves throughout Scotland and was described as being worse than a horror movie. Sadness soon turned to anger once the investigation found the horrific incident was completely avoidable. This is the story of the infamous Tsunami Roller Coaster disaster. M&D's Scotland theme park opened in Motherwell, Scotland in 1996 and quickly became Scotland's biggest and most popular park. The park overlooks Strathclyde Lock and is a stone's throw from Glasgow. Compared to many popular theme parks within Europe and America, M&D's Scotland theme park is small but isn't particularly expensive and is a fun day out. At the time, the park had over 35 attractions, one of these rides being the Tsunami roller coaster. The Tsunami was a steel inverted coaster. The ride had three trains, each train could fit 10 people on, in rows of two. The ride had two inversions and had a duration of one minute and five seconds. Leading up to that fateful day, the theme park had a history of incidents. The first incident came in 2009 when high winds caused the safety mechanisms of the tornado roller coaster to kick in, leaving six people stranded in the air whilst ride operators corrected the system. The next came in 2011 on the Tsunami ride. After experiencing a mechanical fault, the ride became stuck. The ride remained stuck for eight hours and the passengers had to be rescued. Over the next few years, the park was accused of inadequately maintaining their rides. This became evident in 2013 when a woman known as Kirsten Sweeney nearly lost her leg on the log flume. Whilst on the log flume, her boat capsized, which left her leg trapped between the splashback guard and the barrier. This left her stuck screaming for help, but she was saved 10 minutes later by horrified onlookers. After the incident, she claimed that the park tried to blame her and completely swept it under the rug. She maintains to this day that the park should be shut down. Two years after that, three more people were injured on the same ride. This leads us to the 26th of June, 2016. It was a hot summer's day, which saw parents and their children flock to the park for a fun day out. At approximately half three in the afternoon, the people boarded the Tsunami roller coaster. Most of these were children. Halfway round, after the ride was coming off of a bend, out of nowhere, a series of five gondolas connected to the train suddenly derailed from the track. The train which was traveling at 40 miles per hour then hit the side structure of the roller coaster and plummeted 20 feet to the ground. One witness stated, I just turn around and you've seen it like, not in slow motion, but in fast motion. It just plunged to the ground and you heard the crash. You heard the screaming and the fear of the people. The cars fell onto a nearby children's ride for toddlers. As you can imagine, the scene was pure chaos. The people on the ride landed upside down and were trapped. Horrified onlookers ran to the scene and at this point, it was unclear if any toddlers were crushed underneath. Parent to three-year-old Dylan Thomas watched as the roller coaster fell right next to his son. Luckily, he was three inches away from where the ride fell and escaped unscathed. Fathers and mothers ran towards the roller coaster and tried to tip the carriage over to get access to the kids trapped, but were unable to do so. Emergency services were called and within minutes, six ambulances and six fire engines were on the scene. One witness said, when the reality of the situation struck everyone, there were kids in floods of tears and adults desperately trying to find their loved ones amid the chaos. It took up to an hour to get everyone out and 11 injured were all transported to hospital. Out of the injured, nine were children and two were adults. They were ages 11 to 20. One witness stated, it will be a miracle if there are no fatalities. The ride and park was shut down and an investigation into the incident was launched. In a remarkable turn of events, no lives were lost, but the victims' lives were still changed forever. One boy, Ben Chalmers, who was 14 years old, 
sustained horrific injuries that nearly killed him, including bleeding to his chest cavity and a collapsed lung. 20-year-old William Murray was traumatised after being flung 40 foot and dislocating his knee. His father said when he saw a picture of the scene, he just broke down. I also wanted to highlight Liam Boyle's story. Liam had been at the park with friends, celebrating the school year coming to an end. When the ride crashed, Liam's hand was severely injured. One of the witnesses who helped him said, The little boy was one of the bravest boys I've ever met. Considering his injury, he was constantly asking about his friend, who was in the seat above him. He was more worried about him. Thankfully, after eight hours of surgery, Liam's hand was saved and he made a full recovery. Following a 15 months investigation, the health and safety executive completed his probe into the incident in September of 2017. The investigation found that the park had failed to maintain the roller coaster properly. The train derailed because the welding done on the axle suspension was inadequate. In short, the metal used was not the right one. The executive said, We found 9 out of the 10 axles on the tsunami had been given this weld overlay repair, and in the end, 6 of them detached from the ride, causing it to crash to the ground. M&Ds pleaded guilty to health and safety breaches and were fined £65,000. Understandably, the victim's parents were outraged with this, one saying, For a company bragging a turnover of £8 million to be fined £65,000 is disappointing. Seeing what my son went through initially, and for months and years after, I am bitterly disappointed. A ride inspector who passed the ride as safe 16 days before was suspended, but avoided a prison sentence. He was instead ordered to carry out 160 hours of community service. In better news, the victims successfully sued the park and were rewarded £1.2 million in damages. David Nelaney, who represented the victims, said, Firstly, I'd like to recognise the bravery shown by all of our clients, some of whom are children, whose lives have been permanently and irreversibly affected. As is now known, the accident would have never happened had the Tsunami roller coaster been properly inspected and maintained by M&D's theme park. Although M&D's remains open, the Tsunami roller coaster never reopened and was eventually dismantled by the park eight months after the incident. Thankfully, all the victims are now living normal and happy lives, which is the only good takeaway from this story. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It really helps the channel, and if you haven't, make sure to subscribe. Thank you.